Hey everyone, it's Audrey and today's video I'm so pumped and excited to have for you guys, uh, well mostly girls, I don't know guys, you can do this too, but it is on how to do this lovely DIY mermaid seashell bra. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a Little Mermaid steampunk cosplay picture right now and um, I finished up my Harley Quinn which you guys will see a little bit later on or like two days from now, so Saturday. Yeah, so I'll post that video Saturday, but this I'm really excited about. I actually went online to look up how to do a mermaid seashell bra, and I couldn't find anything, and I found most of them were on actually using real seashells and stuff like that, and that's not what I wanted. I wanted it to be kind of 3D and pop out and be a little cartoony, but not too cartoony. Um, so... Yeah, I came up with the method that I use by combining two tutorials that I saw. Um, one was on DeviantArt and one was on Pinterest and both of them were photos. They weren't that detailed so they weren't that helpful to me but I kind of combined a few things from there and I made my own. This is great for Halloween as well. The items are super cheap to buy and they're like, I don't know, maybe... 10 15 bucks all together not including the bra or anything like that so with that being said i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and that if you do try this out let me know how it goes i would love to see photos of this and you can change this and alter this any kind of way that you want i just kind of kept it simple and plain because as you can see in the photo i'm going to be wearing a top and everything like that so it's no need to kind of go crazy for this um on this one for me but I have talked enough so with that being said let's just kind of get on into the tutorial alrighty so the things you're gonna need is a bra obviously some clay I'd recommend model magic by Crayola a foam half sphere um, the size the shape of your boob it'll make molding and making this process a lot easier some snacks and clay tools are optional but again it'll make the little process of making the clay easier I can't talk and um, let's get on into it so I'm just taking some model magic here and this is actually from the first cup that I made and it's a couple days old but it's still moldable and I'm just gonna roll that out um, as thin as I can I didn't leave have that much of a thickness to it but I just wanted to roll it out and I added a little bit more so that I could use that to cover the sphere and that's gonna be our base for the seashell um, itself so just like that and it holds its shape really really well and it's okay if you have a little bit extra and it's also okay if it doesn't cover it completely you just want enough that you can have like edges after you're finished with making your seashell now I'm just gonna go ahead and take smaller balls and I drew out how I wanted the shapes of the shell to look I guess you can say and I'm using that as a guide to make them and then I'm going to stretch it out and place it on the base. And I'm just using some water here just to clear up any cracks or anything like that. Again, I was using a mix of the new bag and some older um, of the older model magic that I had. And it takes about three days for this to dry. Um, if it's thicker, it'll take a little bit longer. But I'm just using, like I said, water just to help with getting rid of the cracks and also molding it to the base. And you're going to do that for both of the sides as well. Once you have that done, um, just going to take a blunted end object or a round end object and make the indentations on the shell. Sorry, I'm like losing track of my mind right now. Losing track of words, but just make a little indentations within the clay just to make it pop a little bit more. And um, again, it works a lot easier if you use water, but you don't need the water, not necessarily or anything like that. So once you have it shaped to your liking, you're just going to take a knife or some sharp edge tool and you're going to go around and cut off the excess clay as you can see that I'm doing there. And you are pretty much done. You have the base and everything is complete. Alright, so I'm going to take a heat gun to it really quickly. Um, I did it for about five minutes. This part is super duper optional. Um, I just feel like it helps a little bit with the drying process, but it's not going to dry completely. It is air dry clay and it takes about three days to dry completely. 
To start off, I'm going to go ahead and prime and I'm going to do about three coats of this Mod Podge right here and it's just the regular one. This next couple parts are optional but I feel that this helps um, with making it look a little bit nicer. So I'm going to do the Mod Podge and then after that I'm actually going to do a coat of this Gesso which is acrylic paint primer and I forgot to do it on the other one and so they might look a little bit different but... Um, I feel like this will help with making the paint look less streaky and all of that stuff. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and start off with the Mod Podge. And I'm just using just a regular paintbrush. As you can see, I've used it with a lot of things, but I use this one. It's a little thicker, and I just use this for my Mod Podge. So... And all it is, um, you can do an Elmer's glue and water mixture, or you can do wood glue, um, wood glue and water, I think it is the mixture, but it's just a nice kind of primer and sealant that a lot of people use when it comes to cosplaying and crafting. Nice to meet you, where you been? I could show you incredible things Magic, madness, heaven, sin Saw you there and I thought Oh my god, look at that face You look like my next mistake Love's a game, wanna play Oh, oh New money, suited tie I can read you like a magazine Ain't it funny, rumors fly And I know you've heard about me So hey, let's be friends I'm dying to see you I can make the bed So it's gonna be forever Or it's gonna go down in flames You can tell me what Alright guys, so here is how it looks after two coats of painting. Um, you can still see a few little things. This still looks a little bit streaky. Uh, I can fix that later. Not too serious. And it doesn't look that bad in person, but on camera, oh my gosh, it looks horrible. Alright, so to take this off, it's pretty easy as you can see right now, it's not coming off. But you're just going to take some kind of object with a flat and it can be a knife or anything. And just kind of very gently go underneath the clay so you can loosen it up. It's over if the high was worth the pain. Got a long list of ex lovers. They'll tell you I'm insane Cause you know I love the players And you love the game Cause we're young and we're reckless We'll take this way too far And then just slowly peel it off and viola And here is kind of how, let's see The inside's nothing fancy or anything like that But you'll notice it's probably still a little, um wet like you could still mold it if you wanted to and um, like I said before you can use a heat gun to make it dry faster um, but if you unless you leave it out for like three days or so it's not going to really completely um, dry and I've been keeping them on the spheres that way that they hold the shape but with that being said we're gonna go ahead now um, I have my two cups and we're going to go ahead and attach them to the bra. And as you can see here, this was where my previous fail of a shell was and I'll post photos of that as well. Um, I used hot glue. This time around, I'm going to be using E6000 and I highly recommend this one just because it makes product stay. Um, I use this for a lot of other crafts and everything that I do. It works a lot better than hot glue and when it gets hot or anything like that the um, item that you glue down will stay and it won't move or budge or anything it's amazing and you can wash the products and stuff so um, I'm just gonna place them on the bra first just to get an idea of how it's gonna look so kinda sort of want to make it even and line up but it doesn't necessarily have to so there you go and I'm just gonna open up this bad boy and I'm going to put glue all around the edge and middle
go now I would actually recommend letting um, them kind of sit for a little while with them facing upwards so that the bottom can dry because it's still a little bit more malleable than the other one is but it still went on perfectly fine and there you guys have it um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on and show you guys what it looks like on and like I said before this is all gonna end up being painted purple alright guys so here is how it looks on um, I had to throw on something so I didn't feel naked or anything like that, but here's how it looks. I think I'm going to add something in the middle, that way it just doesn't feel as naked. I don't know, maybe like a shells or something like that. But as you can tell by the photo though, actually, no, I may not do that. I don't know yet, but I'm going to actually make the top to go with it. We'll see how this kind of all comes together, but I still feel like I need to add something in the middle. But the top might um, make my need for that and want for that go away but here is pretty much how it looks on and yeah so that's it I hope this was helpful for you guys um, I really like my outcome of it like I said I might fix the painting and a few other things with this but you guys can use this to make your own mermaid shell bras and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all later let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and if you actually make one I will love to see a picture of it you can send it to me on Twitter or like Instagram or like tag me it or something I don't know but yeah so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later bye